You are probably familiar with Svalbard, Norway. Svalbard is found on the Norwegian island of Spitsbergen, which lies between mainland Norway and the North Pole. It is one of the coldest locations on Earth. As a result, it has been home to a vault of seeds since January 2008. The seed vault is managed under terms spelled out in a tripartite agreement among the Norwegian government, the Global Crop Diversity Trust, and the Nordic Genetic Resource Center. The Global Crop Crop Diversity Trust is an international nonprofit organization with a secretariat in Bonn, Germany. Its mission is to conserve and make available the world's crop diversity for food security. The Nordic Genetic Resource Center is a plant, farm animal, and forest conservation gene guardian for plants and farm animals. It is financed primarily by the Nordic Council of Ministers and is headquartered in Alnarp in southern Sweden. The primary mission of the Nordic Genetic Resource Center is to ensure the security of the broad diversity of genetic resources linked to food and agriculture. The seeds in the Svalbard vault are intended to serve as a gene bank in case of a wor worldwide disaster. These seeds would provide security against the loss or reduction of seed availability to, due to a wide variety of potential disasters, including disease, war, sabotage, equipment failures, mismanagement, and so on. These events are already occurring, although they are not causing a scarcity of seeds sufficient to invoke a public response from the Norwegian Seed Vault. The renowned Seed Vault in Svalbard became infamous in July 2020 when the World Economic Forum published an article titled Arctic Doomsday Vault Records high, Records High Temperature. What does it mean? Published on July 31, 2020, the article begins with three bullet points. One, quote, a heat wave has produced record summer highs in Norway's Svalbard, home to the Svalbard Global Seed Vault, end quote. Two, quote, commonly referred to as the Doomsday Vault, this site houses nearly 900,000 seeds for research, breeding, and educational purposes, end quote. And three, quote, across the Arctic, climate change is taking its toll with rising temperatures thawing permafrost and melting sea ice, end quote. The article published by the World Economic Forum continues, quote, what better place to build a doomsday vault than the remote snow-covered islands of Norway's Arctic Svalbard? Sitting around 1,000 kilometers from the North Pole, the facility is buried in permafrost to protect the precious seed samples housed there, but a freak heat wave is causing the region's ice to melt. The Svalbard Global Seed Vault, also known as the Doomsday Vault, is a gigantic bunker sitting deep inside a mountain surrounded by snowy wastelands. The facility stores close to 900,000 seed samples from around the world and acts as a sort of backup plan for agriculture, should disaster render parts of the planet unlivable or the world suffer a catastrophe, such as a nuclear war or extreme climate change. It's been described as an insurance policy for food security. Inside the doomsday vault, temperatures are kept below minus 18 degrees C, cold enough to keep the seed samples safe for at least 200 years, even without backup power. But climate change is causing problems for the vault. In 2016, which was the warmest year on record according to NASA, soaring temperatures caused meltwater to breach the vault's entrance tunnel. While no seeds were damaged, the flood water left an expensive repair bill and tarnished the vault's reputation as impregnable to natural or man-made disasters. End quote. NASA is the National Aeronautics and Space Administration in the country of my birth. According to its website, quote, NASA explores the unknown in air and space, innovates for the benefit of humanity, and inspires the world through discovery, end quote. An article at phys.org is titled, Arctic Winter Reaches Melting Point, Scientists Witness Dramatic Thaw in Svalbard. Published on July 21, 2025, the article tells the haunting tale with the lead, quote, a new commentary published in Nature Communications by Dr. James Bradley, reader in environmental science at Queen Mary University of London, and his team reveals a dramatic and concerning shift in the Arctic winter, end quote. The following two paragraphs don't improve the situation. Quote, 
During a fieldwork campaign in Svalbard in February 2025, researchers encountered exceptionally high temperatures, widespread snowmelt, and blooming vegetation. Svalbard, warming at six to seven times the global average rate, is at the forefront of the climate crisis, with winter temperatures rising at nearly double the annual average. The, com the commentary highlights that winter warming in the Arctic is no longer an exception, but a recurring feature of a profoundly altered climate system, challenging the long-held assumption of a reliably frozen Arctic winter." End quote. The peer-reviewed open-access paper in Nature Communications was created by seven scholars and published on July 21, 2025. Titled, Svalbard Winter Warming is Reaching Melting Point, it opens with a short abstract. Quote, the Arctic is at the forefront of global climate change and is encountering unprecedented winter warming. In February 2025, exceptionally high air temperatures and rainfall over Svalbard triggered widespread snowmelt and pooling of meltwater. Increasingly frequent winter thaw events are reshaping Arctic landscapes, signaling a dramatic shift towards a new Arctic." End quote. The abstract is followed by a section titled, quote, Accelerated Winter Warming and Wetting, end quote. It quotes abundant peer-reviewed literature. Quote, Svalbard is at the front line of the climate crisis, warming at six to seven times the global average rate. Human-caused global warming is particularly amplified in the Arctic, causing the climate in the Arctic to warm more quickly than the rest of, of the Earth. The winter period is experiencing the highest rates of warming, with winter temperatures over Svalbard rising at least twice the annual average. Meanwhile, centennial trends for annual precipitation in West Svalbard show increases of 3 to 4 percent per decade, of which a greater proportion is falling as rain. As such, over the past 40 years, rain on snow events have significantly increased and rain is projected to become the dominant form of precipitation in the Arctic by the end of this century. This year, Arctic winter air temperatures were among the warmest ever recorded." End quote. Earth has clearly gone from bad to worse. The article published by the World Economic Forum can be summarized as follows. The renowned Svalbard seed belt was tested more than five years ago. It failed. Despite failing this critical test, the Svalbard Seed Vault remains the world's go-to site for the storage of critical seeds. I'm not impressed. Years have passed. Nothing has been done to secure the Svalbard Seed Vault. Another site has not been identified to serve as a substitute for the existing system. Adding to my lack of confidence in the current system is the complete absence of response from any of the world's governments. It is clear that a strategy for preserving seeds is necessary. Thus, the investment in this expensive vault. Where's the follow-up as the existing system fails? There has been no response to the failure of the Svalbard Sea Vault. Have the world's so-called leaders given up? Are they implicitly acknowledging that there is no point to preserving genetic material for the future? Are they admitting that we have no future? I try to focus on living in the here and now. The poor leadership demonstrated by the governments of the world in response to the ongoing disaster at Svalbard provides yet another reason to focus on the present moment. We are guaranteed nothing else.